So good morning everybody. I'm still here over at Crow's Nest Campground, Newport, New Hampshire. My friends uh, Karen and Steve are across the road on the other side there in the uh, RV section. I'm over here in the tent area, which I seem to have the tent area to myself, which is kind of interesting. I don't think a weekend in July here, this place also would be busy, but this section seems to be pretty quiet. I'm not complaining. I don't know what we're going to end up doing today, but this is my last full day on the road on this trip. So, well, we'll take a look around and decide from there. Hello. Good morning. Good afternoon. Yeah, it's still morning. You guys just get up too early. I did. So we're waiting for my next video uh, upload to YouTube here. Decided to use some of the electricity that's available up here at the campground, sat down and edited my next update, and uh, we're uploading that today, will be released today. But just uploading it over my cellular connection, it takes a while. <laughs> we get a bit of a wait. So used to uploading these from home where I have a much faster connection. But it'll be up soon. a nice little walk up to uh, Pollard Mills Falls. That's what Pollard Mills Falls. Two miles round trip from the campground. Not too bad. Nice little area if people want to go out and swim in that. But I just wanted to get down there and see it and get back again. Too peopley for me <laughs> as usual. But anyway, you know, it's almost four o'clock so I'm gonna make up my iced coffee for tomorrow morning because I'm not gonna leave all this stuff set up here. I, I actually want to try to get out of here pretty early tomorrow. It's Sunday, people are going to be going home from their trips over the weekend, and there's going to be a lot of traffic and stuff, so I want to try to get out early so I can get home before the traffic really gets too bad, so that's my plan. But right now, I'm going to brew up some iced coffee so I can put the coffee maker away. So if you haven't seen this in some of my earlier videos here, making uh, one of my iced coffees is just like making a regular pot of coffee. I mean, I put some coffee grinds in the maker here, as, as usual. Set that up. But instead of uh, measuring out the water in the, the bowl there, I put a bottle's worth in. Open that up. Just dump that into the reservoir. Like that. Close it. And we stop the coffee maker. Once it's done brewing, we let it cool for a few minutes. Well, quite a few minutes. <laughs> and then we pour it in the bottle again. And once it's fully cooled off and out to uh, basically the ambient air temperature, we put it in the fridge. So I'm planning on making a grilled cheese sandwich and tomato soup for dinner tonight, and I realized I used up all my cheese. That's a problem. <laughs> so I'm going to take a walk down to the camp store here at Crow's Nest Campground. They supposedly have groceries and stuff there, so let's see if they have any cheese. <laughs> <laughs> have you guys been down to the riverside at all? Yeah, yeah. So once you go down that crest, just 
it's like cold breeze just comes out of the kitchen. Right. Nice. We're on to our last dinner for this trip. Tomorrow morning I get up and head home, so we're keeping it simple tonight. Making a uh, grilled cheese sandwich and uh, tomato soup. Super simple. Now, good grilled cheese sandwich has bacon in it. So that's what I'm making right now, some bacon. Gonna have to have uh, bacon, gonna have ham, and uh, unfortunately just the American cheese that I had to go off to the uh, store and buy. It's all they had, but at least we got cheese. So I mean, it's the pre-packaged, pre-sliced stuff, but it will work. So pulled up my uncle's uh, little frying pan again. So I'm using that to make the bacon up, and uh, yeah, we're gonna have a good dinner tonight. Well, unfortunately, as usual, I forgot to take the uh, butter out of the fridge at a reasonable time. So, it's still a little cold and hard. But, that's normal for me. I do that all the time. Alright. Red. Hmm. It's actually softer than I expected it to be. Good. Still hard, but it's softer than expected. Could have been worse. Could have been better, too. A wonderful uh, <laughs> Walmart brand sliced cheese. But hey, it works in a pinch. There we go, here we go. We're getting in. Hmm. Yeah, shredded cheddar would have been better. Not bad though. Slices of bacon for it. And rain flies, especially. Ooh. Some bits of ham. And we squish it down a bit. Oh. Alright. Slice of bread. This one up this way. Look off my leg. Now does it close? Yes, it does. All right. I'm one of the lucky ones. It's got the oven-eyes VFO to go with it. Well, pretty well all packed up, ready to go home. Decided I want to pack up early tonight because it's tomorrow's going to be Sunday and I don't want to get caught in the big crowd of people going home from their trips. So All that's left is the weather station and the ladder and the trash barrel. I'm going to do some cleanup inside the van later tonight. But that's about it. We'll be ready to go home pretty early tomorrow. I'm pretty tired. It's almost midnight. 11.48 right now, so... Oh, I'm so tired. Oh, so bad. It's actually early for me, but... Uh, usually I'm going to bed closer to 1, but... This week's got my sleep schedule all screwed up here, so anyway, we're pretty well packed up. We got most everything uh, ready to go here for tomorrow. A few things we'll have to do in the morning. Well, obviously, we got to take all the uh, window covers down, things like that. Got to get the weather station off the roof, throw the ladder back in the truck, 
And uh, that's, it. that's about it. Put the spider plant back on the uh, front seat so it doesn't roll off and get damaged while I'm driving. <laughs> a few other little things like that. Tomorrow morning I'm just going to have a quick bowl of cereal, probably a banana. And uh, we're going to head home. i got to get some sleep. So we'll see you guys in the morning. Oh, good morning. It's our last day here. Time to basically head home. Uh, slept pretty good last night. Uh, a little, a little chilly. Not too bad though. Not as bad as it was the other night. I guess it looks like the Clinton weather station dropped down to 57 overnight. It's now 61. 67 in the van, so not too bad. But anyway, well, like I said it's time to head home. Pretty much have everything packed up already, so. Got my iced coffee ready, the one I started last night. Got up, first thing I did when I got up this morning was put some milk and sugar in it. Been drinking that. And that's it. Uh, so, <laughs> so, let's get the uh, packing done here. Let's go over and see my friends Karen and Steve again, see how their packing's coming along, and we're going to get a good early start today. <laughs> See you later. The we go. There you go. Hi. Here we go. Oh, that sounds healthy. <laughs> uh, hmm. Not sure what that is. <laughs> Kids here riding bicycles around the loop here. Oh well. Uh, uh, fun stay at Crow's Nest. Good hosts here. That's not my usual style of uh, camping. There's more kids on bicycles on the road here. I already don't have the front facing camera working. Mm. This fan needs some work. <laughs> uh, anyway, as I was saying, it was a fun stay here. And uh, good to see my friends Karen and Steve for a little while. And we'll be seeing them again on the next trip here. I'm actually heading up to Crow's um, Bear Brook State Park on the next trip we're looking for. Anyway, it's not even 9 o'clock, I'm already heading out, so that's good. So, now we'll check in, you guys, in with you guys in a bit here, and I'm going to focus on my driving now. Alright, we're back. Just pulling up now. We are home. That was a fun adventure. Uh, longest trip I've taken in Wolf Van Jack since I've had it. One night trip, so that was a lot of fun. So, thank you for coming along with me. And uh, thank you for my supporters there. have helped me out, uh, getting me some gas all along the way here. So if you want to help out, you can see the address down below here. And uh, otherwise, thanks for watching. Remember, slow down and enjoy life. And we'll catch you guys on the next adventure.